What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber from the Ramblin' Richardsons. <sighs> it has been a long day. Lots of things got done today. I'm down here in the garage and I thought I'd take a moment to go ahead and extrapolate on our series. We want to cook. So again, this series is not to teach you a recipe from start to finish. We have plenty of cooking videos. If you want to learn how to do a recipe, there are some that are on our channel and I'll throw the little card up in one of the corners for you to look at some of those. But this is really just, if you want to be prepared on being able to cook something, some basics, some top five lists that you should probably have on hand in your kitchen or pantry. We've already done condiments was last week and utensils. So went to the grocery store earlier today. My wife got off of work and we got a couple of things and I was doing some food prep for this week making some snacks and things like that for us. And so, um, and I'm also cooked dinner so that we could have stuff to eat for tomorrow already prepared and done. So I don't have to do that. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this list because I had everything on this list in my kitchen. So we're going to go over today's list is the top five veggies you should probably have in your kitchen if you want to cook. So we're going to kick it off way at the top. Number five. Number five is going to be onions. Now I keep a mix of onions in my kitchen. They don't need to be refrigerated, but they can stay a lot longer if you do refrigerate them. But you can have white onions, yellow onions, purple onions, really any kind of onion that you prefer, hey, that's great. Purple onions are great. I have a great recipe for pickled purple onions. I like to have purple onions on my bagel with some smoked salmon. I also like purple onions on my hamburger as opposed to white onions or sweet, uh, sweet onions. But really it's up to you. And you can keep a variety like I do, but White onions are going to be the best for preparing a meal most of the time. You're going to use white or yellow onions because you're going to be cooking them in some sort of fat. So onions, typically white or yellow. Number four. Number four is going to be carrots. Carrots are a great snack. They have a lot of great vitamins in them, help your eyes see. So they're easy to prepare. You peel them, cut them like I did tonight. I'll show you a little clip here of the uh, carrots that I prepared so that we can just grab and go, put them in a little bag or just grab a handful out if we're hungry and have a little snack. They're great healthy alternative to say something like chips if you're trying to go a healthier route and you can also juice them i know lots of people out there love to juice carrots are a great way to add a little bit of sweetness to your juice if you're juicing veggies a lot of veggies in your juice <coughs> pardon me <clears throat> oh man i am sweaty um so number four carrots Number three is gonna be celery. Celery is one of those things that some people like and some people don't like. I personally am not the biggest fan of celery. Um, I'll eat it if it's in like tuna fish sandwich or something like that, or somebody made a meal and it has celery in it. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm not eating it because of celery. Uh, but if I'm going to eat celery, I'm going to prefer to dip it. And celery is perfect little scoop. You know, it's scoop, sh scoop shape. And so it's perfect for dipping into dips. 
It's also another healthy alternative to chips. And I also prepped some of those tonight. I'll show another little clip here of me prepping those celery. So I did the celery and the carrots tonight. Mm -mm. And another great snack on the go. Number two. And I went back and forth between whether this would, I put this one in number two or number one. But number two is going to be garlic. Now, you may be going, well, garlic is a vegetable or eh. we're just going to call it a vegetable. And the reason that it's on this list is because garlic is literally in like every single recipe. Unless you're baking like sweets. Garlic is probably going to be in your recipe. And I freaking love garlic. I mean, I love it. If it calls for two cloves of garlic, I'm putting six or seven. I love garlic. It is awesome. I love the way it tastes. So garlic, always having garlic on hand, also super good idea. Because it goes into almost every single recipe if you're going to be cooking something. <clears throat> now, if you take the last four ingredients and you combine them, you'll find that there are a lot of recipes that start out with a little bit of butter and some onion, carrots, celery, and garlic. The onion, celery, and carrots, that is, and butter, putting those all together in butter, that's a trifecta of Southern and even Creole cooking. So if you have the last four ingredients, there's gonna be a lot of really comfort, soul, soul food cooking, Southern dishes, Creole cooking, that you're going to need those four. And guess what? I live in Texas and that's right next to Louisiana. So we're heavily influenced by soul food because we're in the South and Southern food because we're in the South and Louisiana Creole style of cooking because we're neighbors to Louisiana. So those four ingredients are really kind of like the holy grail of ingredients for veggies in a Southern kitchen. You're really, you need to have those for a lot of dishes that you're gonna make, a lot of traditional dishes you're gonna make. <clears throat> and then the number one, number one thing, number one veggie I could recommend having in your kitchen. And again, don't kill me in the comments on this one, but it's gonna be potatoes. And you're going, eh, potatoes and garlic, eh, not really vegetables, but I mean, they're gonna be close enough to vegetables. They're basically vegetables, tubers or whatever you wanna call them. They're vegetables, root vegetables. <clears throat> and potatoes are versatile. Almost everybody likes potatoes. You can roast them, you can mash them, you can fry them. You can do all sorts of things with potatoes. And if you have somebody coming over and you don't know what to make as a side dish to your protein, potatoes, just cook potatoes. Believe me, that person's going to eat them. It's going to be good. Potatoes, no one's gonna turn their nose down at potatoes, almost nobody. So, we have five ingredients, five veggies you should be keeping in your kitchen. Onions, carrots, celery, garlic, and potatoes. If you wanna start cooking, definitely keep those on hand in your kitchen. You'll be amazed at what you can come up with and what recipes will call for that. You can look up recipes by what you have in your pantry or in your refrigerator. And if you have all of those, oh, well, the sky might as well be the limit. Now, before we get to the bonus veggie, I wanna just take a moment to ask you guys to take some time to go down there, like the video, subscribe, ring the notification bell for me, as it really does help my channel a heck of a bunch and it really doesn't cost anything for you to do. I promise, I swear, doesn't cost you a single red cent. So go down there and smash the like button for me and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. All right.
now that we got that out of the way, let's get this bonus veggie poppin'. So my bonus vegetable is going to be broccoli. Now the reason I put broccoli on this list, not everybody likes broccoli and it kind of smells like farts when you cook it, like if you roast it or if you steam it, broccoli and Brussels sprouts can sometimes kind of have a smell to them. But here's the deal. If you've got carrots and you've got celery and you've got broccoli, you have a veggie tray. All you got to do if you have the condiments on the list is pop open that salad dressing that I said it would be a good idea to keep on hand in your kitchen. Open up that Italian dressing or ranch dressing that you have on hand, put it into a little bowl, put your carrots and your celery and your raw broccoli all around that. You're ready to entertain guests. Also, broccoli roasted or steamed broccoli is so tasty. It's very, very healthy for you as well. All of these ingredients are pretty healthy for you. Uh, I know the potatoes have got a lot of starch and a lot of carbs, but the broccoli is a great green, bright green vegetable that you can do a lot with. So bonus ingredient for this video is going to go pair with the last video of top five condiments because we talked about having a bottle of dressing of your choice on hand. So you've got carrots and celery and broccoli in your refrigerator and somebody's coming over, somebody important you wanna impress, break out the carrots and celery and broccoli on a little bitty plate, put a little bowl of some salad dressing next to it. I guarantee you they'll be impressed. But that's all for this video. That's all for this week's um, episode of So You Wanna Cook. I really appreciate you guys tuning into the video. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination, guys. And we're going to check you on the next video. Peace.